Let's bring you this exciting conversation now. The junior commissioners of Mondio Police are a passionate group of four pupils from a number of schools united in one mission, and that's to advocate for the well-being of young people in their community. They're raising awareness about important issues, including substance abuse, mental health, and bullying in schools. This team includes uh, Buigayo Manana, who's a junior detective commander, Balente Lamini as the junior support head, and uh, Lela Vili, who is a visible commander. All three of them are in studio, and let me tell you, I already feel intimidated because there's just so much achievement and articulation here. To all three of our guests, hello, welcome to SABC News. <laughs> it's great to have you all here. Hi, send a shy in mind. We're also it's chatty off air. Yeah. It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be here. All right, thank you very much. Perhaps let me start on the side of the group. People, I'm sure, are wondering what junior commanders do as a start. I mean, it, it, I've tried to give a best explanation, but I'm sure you'll do a better job. Thank you. As commanders, we're actually junior commissioners. So, okay, uh, all right. The junior commissioner project was established last year by the SAPS, and so we were asked to discuss um, topics on various um, issues such as gangsterism, substance abuse, teenage pregnancy, as you mentioned, which are the issues we face in our schools. So, we were asked to like bring about solutions at that public speaking event. And now, after that, we were um, awarded our roles, and that's when we decided to take it upon ourselves to actually implement the solutions that we came about at that event. And so we've been doing school visits, raising awareness, as well as attending some events. You know, we've attended mm -hmm. the Holler event from the Mall of the South, whereby we also raise awareness about GBV, and we've done quite a lot of things. And we also have the Green Door Project, which is part of the Commissioner Project, whereby we donate to um, the Green Door, which is situated in Akenoff, to like, um, yeah, help with their needs that they cannot afford. Oh, wow, fantastic. And I see you guys are from, uh, at, you know, different schools. Perhaps uh, you can tell us a bit more about the role that you play in this. Uh, I'm a commissioner. As commissioners, um, Valentine. So, um, yes, we are from different schools. I am from Trinity House, Glen Vista. And the role that we kind of play, because we don't all have specific roles, but rather we all come with our own contribution. So with my contribution, I like to focus on the idea of mental health and how a lot of the times the reason why the youth feel deprived or they're not confident is because of how they see themselves. So one of the things that I do, especially when we, do t when we go to school talks, is ensure that we raise awareness to say, hey, just because you come from a bad background doesn't mean your back needs to be on the ground. And that in order to love other people, you need to love yourself. So reminding the youth that everything starts from within. And to add on her, another thing that we did, or one of the solutions that um, I came with was the venting box system. Mm. And together with their input of having a helpline. So what we do is, a lot of the times the youth, they have problems, they can't speak up about them and they don't want to talk to the principal, they don't want to talk to their counselors. So what we do is the venting box system, the youth will go, or if an individual is feeling something, they'll write their problems down, put it in together with their number. Then together with Mondio Saps, their social workers from the social prime prevention office will come and fetch, and then they'll then get further assistance. Wow, you guys have wrapped your head around this entire thing. Was there any kind of training, Clella, that happened? I mean, are you guys just brilliant? You woke up like this. Um, yeah. I think um, we as a collective, we have branded together and then we have brainstormed ideas together as a collective. So you can say our training was us meeting each other because we did not know each other. Remember, we are from different schools. So our training essentially was us building an interpersonal relationships with, in, with each other mm. so that we may be able to brainstorm ideas. And yes, we also had um, training at the police, Mondial Police um, Services, right? Um, we did go there um, multiple times and sort of had an induction, right? Whereas um, they taught us the basics of um, the police services and how it operates so that we're not only part of the police commissioners, we know the system and how it works, right? And um, yes, we have um, brainstormed multiple ideas together. So you can say our training was us building an interpersonal relationships, not only with ourselves, with the schools that we go to and with the Mundial Police Services. Absolutely. And you know, I did tell you guys that there's a lot of things that happen in the studio. So well done for keeping your composure as that all continues. Perhaps let me bring the conversation back to you here in Balenta. I mean, we have seen that in our country so much affects young people, quite frankly. And I think you've really touched on this in part. But how, 
how much of an interest do you find young people have in initiatives like this? You know, um, I'm sure you must have grappled with the idea of how we make sure a whole lot more people, young people like yourselves, buy into this. So I think the coolest thing about what you've spoken about is that is why the Junior Police Commissioner Project was established anyways, mm. was to show the youth that they can do it because how best to show the youth that you can engage in social issues by not us living that. So I think that the way that we promote it is as we go to schools, the youth get to see that, hey, just because you're young doesn't mean you, need, you can't engage with these issues. And because a lot of the times, even in society, we don't even have to look at the youth. When we have problems, people are like, that's just not my problem. I don't mm. think I, it has anything to do with me. So we are just that reminder to say that, hey, um, you can make a difference, and it doesn't matter how young you are. And that is the kind of promotion that they can get inspiration from us to actually make that difference. Speak about inspiration. You guys have so many badges, I'm not even gonna count <laughs> collectively how you're able to do that. Um, how are you juggling all of those with your work? We're going. Um, so essentially, we just maneuver around everything, like literally. If this comes up, we go to a school talk and we do our thing, go back to school, we are in school mode. So I think we have like modes, okay? Yeah. Now I'm in this mode and she's also part of the junior parliament. I'm sure you have to switch up and be like, I'm a junior parliament member now. Okay, now I'm a, so yeah, we just, we maneuver around our different, the different versions of, our, of ourselves. So I can say that we are multi-potentialites. Oh, multi-potentialites. <laughs> Is that a new word that I need to add to my dictionary? But there's also a support from school, right, Lila? Yes. Um, I imagine yes. they understand. I'm sure some people are watching, I see even from outside our windows here. Um, how is that helping you? Um, our schools um, collectively have um, supported us. Yo, they have done so much. Mm. Mondial High School has have given us the recognition. I think that um, at school, we are known as Amapoisa, the police. I will police. When we walk through the corridors, we are known as Amapoisa. I will police. And um, I think we have been recognized by the schools. Um, I've also gotten, I've also received, I haven't told um, my junior police commissioners, um, my colors, junior colors, right? Oh, congratulations. Because of this, also um, something else, I am the national district um, champion, right, for public speaking. And I think that um, my school has empowered me. Yo, my school has done so much. I think I wouldn't be here and Buikanya wouldn't be here as well if it wasn't for our English teachers pushing us, join public speaking, do this, do that, do this, do that. And they do give us recognition. Trinity House, for instance, um, as Buikanya has previously spoken about the Green Door project, right? Um, Trinity House have hosted a Green Door Day, whereas um, the children are allowed to wear their home clothes um, in exchange for a donation. So they donate and then they wear their home clothes. And Trinity House has also, they've pushed the Green Door project beyond. Mm. They have done so much. Um, also, Kibla Park Secondary, as our, our station commander is not here, um, she's from Kibla Park Secondary. They've also done so much um, in terms also with the venting box system, right? Um, yo, our schools have done so much. I don't even think, if I can start listing what Mondo High School, Trinity House, and Kibla Park have done, we would st sit here for two hours listing everything they've done. All right. <laughs> we don't have two hours. So I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you gave us the the summarized version but you know I, I've had countless conversations about young people and not enough with young people I'll actually admit that much so let me ask you this question Balente where do you reckon the adults get it wrong you know in many instances I feel um, young people feel misunderstood um, I'm shocked that I'm not young people anymore but I have to concede that my time is no longer uh, there anymore but you know from the conversations you have with your friends yes I'm sure they're putting you on a pedestal I'm a poisa, mm -hmm. but I'm sure some of them are opening up about how they're really feeling and where they feel things could improve. So I think when it comes to adults in specific it's just realizing that at the end of the day, youth are just youth. They're also people. Mm. So it's meeting them where they're at. I think a lot of the times it's understanding that the youth are the way they are also because of the adults that is around them. So I've heard about so many instances where, and this is one of the core issues that happen at school, is that people or most learners are depressed or they feel not heard because the adult is not taking a moment to just listen to what they have to say. Because in society, when a youth has to say, no, this is a problem, no, but you're young, you don't know what you're talking about. And sometimes, and often if not most, the youth, if 
given that chance to speak up about what they need, what they're going through, I think it would change a lot in the way that our youth are growing and developing. So that is one of the most, the, mo the core issues that I've gotten from a lot of peers, a lot of friends, and even that thing of motivation, because from what I've seen, I've gotten, even as, Jula, as junior speaker of Johannesburg, going to these schools, I've gotten that they've never heard motivation. So sometimes, the first time they hear, a you can do it, is when we come, which shouldn't be the case. It should start at home. Hmm. Do you want to add to that, Wiganyu? Uh, I could see you nodding your head. <laughs> <laughs> yes, parents should hold themselves accountable for literally grooming their children to represent them at schools because now when they are misrepresenting them it's like what's going on like does the person really have that nurture and care at home do they get listened to and some of them maybe they lack self-love self-confidence and it's just like you really really need that support and um the, the, the back to fall on and just be like, oh, I can tell my mom this or I can tell my sister this. And then you know that from then onwards, you are a seed and you are getting water. You see, you're getting watered and then you can grow and manifest into the person that you dream of being. And you guys are well on your way to doing that. We often speak about the impact of social media on young people. I wonder if you could speak to us, Lela, about that. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure now you're an active participant yourself, but we won't expose anything. Um, what kind of impact do you reckon that's having on just young people going about the business of being young, you know? Um, I don't want to give away too much, but when I was probably your age, very few people even had smartphones, let alone, I know, shocking, right? Yeah. Uh, let alone being on all these social media platforms. Um, social media, firstly, it provides a sense of procrastination. I think most of the reason, the, the biggest reason why um, children don't study right now or our peers don't study right now and focus on their work is because they're busy scrolling, 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 scrolling. It gives you procrastination. I'll do it later. Let me scroll one more video. Social media, honestly. Also, secondly, we compare ourselves to the people that we see on social media, mm. which is also a big factor for me. I think I have compared myself multiple times to the people that I see on social media. And I learned to, as Mbali has said, that we do give affirmations. I learned to take my own advice to also like affirm myself to tell myself that they are their own people they are the own person i'm the own i'm their i'm my own person i'm sorry i'm my own person right i am who god says i am right and um Rikanyo has pre previously given me advice right saying that i should look at the things that i watch on social media right look at the positive um watch motivational things things that will change um my my mindset that will make me a better person, right? Which is something that I do now. As I'm scrolling, I think, is this gonna help me in 10 years? Is this gonna help me achieve my goals, my vision? Is this gonna help me achieve anything? Which I think also our youth, the youth should be doing. As you're scrolling, think to yourself, is this gonna help me in 10 years? Is this gonna help me as I'm studying for my exam? And if it doesn't, close your phone. Hmm. Switch off that phone. Focus on what is actually going to help you achieve your goals, your mission, which is something I've also picked up from um, the junior police commissioners. I think we've picked up multiple things from each other, right? And um, which is something that we also tell our peers as we go and um, motivate them, right? So I think social media has had a huge impact. We shouldn't be comparing ourselves to people we see on social media because we do not know what their life is like behind um, the, what they post on social media, right? Absolutely. You are your own person. You are who God has planned you to be. Jeremiah 29 verse 11, right? You are who you want to be in the future, who you want to be in 10 years. And if what you're scrolling, what you're watching won't help you in 10 years, switch off that phone, focus. All right. Focus. <laughs> yeah, and I hope they hear you loud and clear. I'll tell you what, I'm taken aback. I'm incredibly impressed and in some ways motivated myself. So thank you so much for coming to speak to us. And may you continue the great work that you're doing. That is Bukanyo Manana, uh, Mbalin Tlamini, as well as uh, Shela Vili, who are joining us as junior commissioners. Salute. Thank, Thank you so much for coming through. Oh, and commanders. Yes. Okay, so I wasn't that far off. All right, I'm a poisa with us here in studio. Thank you very much for popping by. So there you have it. Important work being done by young people, obviously helped and supported by the adults around them, and perhaps a great lesson for you watching as well around ways in which you can continue to shape our society.